Hello everyone, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.2 from Cedra and Smith book of microelectronics, I think. And the question is, for the circuits in figure P4.2, this is the figure, there are four circuits here, using ideal diodes, find the values of the voltage and the currents indicated. So the voltage here, 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 here and the current there 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 okay now let's see what can we infer from the problem okay now we have ideal diodes so ideal diodes we have two conditions for ideal diodes the first one is forward bias or sometimes it's called on and that will equivalent to a short circuit so we can replace the diodes with short circuit if the diodes is on and then the second condition is reverse bias or some books called it off so we can replace the diode with open circuit when it is on the reverse bias condition so and for ideal diodes the voltage drop with the, between anode and cathode will be zero and remember that in diodes the currents can only flow from anode to cathode and it cannot flow backwards here so this is cannot happen only going from anode to cathode okay now let's solve problem a but first i want to redraw the circuit okay now i have redrawn the problem a circuit for problem a and we are asked to find v and i here okay so first let's see point number three so assume that the diodes is on first, then check if there is a contradiction in it. So let's assume that the diode is on. Assume that the diode is on or in forward bias condition. Okay, and assuming the diodes is, is in on or forward bias condition means that we can replace this diode by short circuit. Okay, we can replace this by short circuit. Okay, and from here, because this is shorted, we can clearly see that our V here is the same as this voltage. So our V there is 3 volt. Okay, now let's calculate the I. So I is the same as this current here because that will be in series with this, right? So I will have I. I is equal to this voltage here, 3 minus V. V this one and then divide it by 10 kilo ohm okay now this V here is minus 3 so I will have 3 minus minus 3 divided by 10 kilo ohm and that will be 6 divided by 10 kilo ohm 6 divided by 10 will be 0 0.6 milli ampere okay now let's draw back the diodes again so we will have our V here is minus 3 and our I here is 0 0.6 milli ampere so here as we can see our currents flowing from anode to cathode so we have no contradiction here so our assumption is correct our assumption is correct and so our V is minus 3 volt and our I is 0 0.6 milli ampere Okay, that's for problem A. Now let's move on to problem B. Let me erase the board and redraw the 
circuit for problem B. Okay, now I have redrawn the circuit for problem B. Okay, so let's rewrite B here. So let's start by first assuming the diode is on or forward bias. So we replace this by short circuit like previous, like the previous. So we'll have this as short circuit here. And that means that our V will be minus 3. Our V will be minus 3 and our I will be 3 minus minus 3 divided by 10 kilo ohm. And that will be 0 0.6 milliampere, the same as before. But now if we draw back our diodes here, So this is the anode and this is the cathode but the currents I flowing from cathode to anode so this will be 0 0.6 milliampere and that could not happen because the physical properties of diodes so it is so the current I cannot flows from cathode to anode of the diode so here our assumption is wrong So our assumptions was incorrect. <laughs> so we need to change our assumptions. Okay. Now let's assume that the diode is off. Okay. Let me clean this first. Okay. Now because the diodes cannot be on, it must be off. So we have this assumption that the diodes is off. So we can replace this diode by open circuit. Okay, we can replace this diode by open circuit. So here we have this one. And because there is no voltage drop here, our V here becomes the same as the source. So our V here became 3 volt and then the current because this is open circuit there is no current here and that will be 0 milliampere so this is 3 volt and 0 milliampere so that is for problem A and problem B so in problem A we have our V is minus 3 volt and our I is 0 0.6 milliampere and for problem B that's our V is 3 volt and I is 0 milliampere okay so now let's move on to problem C okay this is the circuit for problem C and first we assume that our diode is on assume the diode is on So we can replace our diode by short circuit here because it is ideal diodes. So our V here because this is shorted here, our V will be the same as this one and that will be 3 volt. Okay, and then our I, for our I we can calculate that we have this V here, V minus minus 3 divided by 10 kilo ohm and our V here is 3 so we'll have 3 minus minus and minus becomes plus and the inside that is 3 divided by 10 kilo ohm and 3 but plus 3 is 6 so I will have this as 0 0.6 
mini ampere and let's draw back our diodes here so our diodes is here and the current is flowing here and that means that the currents also flowing from here to here and because this currents is flowing from anode to cathode our assumption is correct so our assumption is correct so we have our V here is 3 volt and our I here is 0 0.6 milliampere so let's write that so I will have V is equal to 3 volt and then I is equal to 0 0.6 milliampere for the problem C okay so now we have the last circuit to do which is problem D okay let's redraw the circuit okay now let's see problem D and let's do our assumption first that diodes is on so the diode is on so we will have to replace it with short circuit okay if we replace it with short circuit we have done this before we will have our V is equal to the same as this 3 volt and our I is 3 minus minus 3 divided by 10 so I will have 3 minus minus 3 divided by 10 and that will be 0 0.6 milliampere this is the same as problem C but let's redraw our diodes here so our diodes is here and this is the anode and this is the cathode so the currents go that goes here should be 0 0.6 milliampere but that is in series with this one so this is also I but remember that the, these diodes cannot conduct from cathode to anode. So this cannot be happened. So the diodes, the diode cannot conduct from cathode to anode. So our assumption is wrong or incorrect our assumption is incorrect so because our assumption is incorrect it has to be in the off condition so let's see if we have the diodes is in off condition So if the diodes is in off condition, it's the same as open circuit. So we have open circuit here and here. And because this is minus 3 volt and there is no voltage drop because this is open circuit. So this V will be the same as the source, which is minus 3. So we will have V is equal to minus 3 volt. And then I, because there is no potential difference here, this is minus 3 and this is minus 3, the current here will be 0. Or if we see this, this is open circuit, so the current will also be 0. So we'll have 0 milliampere. So this is it for problem D. So let's wrap it up. So for problem D we have the voltage here is minus 3 volt and then our I is 0 milliampere so this is all the answer for problem 4.2 from Cedra and Smith book hopefully I did not make any mistake in the calculation let me know if I did and do not forget to like the videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.